Hello guys, this is the last part on how to solve a 6x6 V cube. So finally, this is the last part. And basically now you solve it like a 3x3, but you also will run into some parity. Well, you might. There's two different kind of parities you can run into at this point. So overall, there's three different kinds of parities, and two of them require the same algorithm. So, yeah. Anyway... Solve however you'd solve a 3x3 three three until you get to the last layer, so I'll do that right now because the last layer is where the parity comes in Okay, the last layer is where you'll be running into parity. So, this part will be a little difficult if you don't know how to solve it, but it's not too hard. Basically, if you use the Friedrich method, which is my method that I use, that's the only examples I can give you because I don't use any other methods, so sorry. But if you do use it, then I can help you out. If you don't, I really can't help you here. But just get your cross, if you do 2 work OL, like that, and then just solve it, and get all the yellows on there. Which, like, if you know how to do Friedrich, that is an algorithm, anti soon But, hold on, there's a little bit of a case you can have. Let me get it. Like sometimes you can't get your your all the yellows up on top because it's like an edge is flipped and an edge is flipped. So you'll do the same algorithm that you did for basically in other parity cases. You just move the inner layers instead of these layers, and it's the same thing. So I'm not gonna put this one on the screen because you already know it. And now flip them, and then you'll be able to get all the colors on there. And then for PLO. Now, sometimes you can permute your PLOs. Like, on this case, it looks like I can. So I'll just do the PLO real quick. Like that. And then, like, after you do your PLO, sometimes you'll get a case like this, where it's basically not solved. And this is another parity case that you can get in the algorithm for this. This is actually an algorithm you should know if you know how to solve a 4x4. So, an algorithm for this, I'll put this on the screen. It is... Okay, and then after you do that, you'll probably get a case like this, and then you can easily permute it. And one more case you can get. Let me get it. It's a case where you have everything solved, but this part, and then this part same case as this in the 4x4 four four. and you'd be happy to know that it's the same algorithm to solve it that you just did for the other case so you hold it like this and you do the same algorithm and that's basically it I think I covered pretty much everything questions comments or anything just put them below and I'll try to answer them Thank you for watching. If you actually did watch all these videos, that would be a miracle. I probably won't even watch them all. But, thank you for watching, and bye.